Welcome to the sixth section of this course in which we shall discover another way of object detection which is by far the most famous and probably the most accurate one. We will be looking at the use of convolutional neural networks for object detection. We will have a brief overview of what a convolutional neural network is and why it has changed the way machine learning is performed on images. We will look at its architecture and also use a pre-trained convolutional neural network to detect multiple objects. This particular network has been trained on the CAFE framework for 20 different categories of everyday objects. So let us dive right in and see what the hype is all about. Before we talk about CNNs, we first need to take a look at deep learning. Deep learning is a subset of machine learning which uses a neural network as its core computational unit. A neural network can be used to perform classification as well as regression. You can think of it as a black box which takes in a bunch of inputs in its input layer, processes them internally in its hidden layer, and then return one or more outputs in its output layer. A neural net can only do this accurately if it has already been trained on that task before. So let us assume that the task at hand is to detect an object. We would supply hundreds of images of that object for training the neural network. There are many training algorithms which can be used to update the neural network weights. The most famous ones which are used is backpropagation as well as gradient descent. These algorithms update the neural network's properties or its weights as it is known while it is being trained such that it maps the input training features to the expected outputs. We will explore this more in the next section. In this section we will use a neural network that has already been trained to recognize many different objects. A convolutional neural network is a special type of neural net which tends to perform really well on visual data like images and videos. CNNs have completely changed the way we look at computer vision and it came as a breakthrough. This network automatically extracts features from the images and uses them for learning, hence making it really easy for the user. Some really important and popular applications of CNNs are shown here. The first one is object detection, which as we all know is used in a lot of domains. The other one is optical character recognition, which is the conversion of the text found in an image to a digital editable text. And the most popular one is self-driving cars, which use their multiple cameras to figure out their surroundings and drive themselves automatically. Some recent breakthroughs in this field are shown over here. The first one is automatic colorization of black and white images. There is no such algorithm to perform this conversion as a color to a black and white conversion results in loss of information. So this network analyzes the context of the image to predict what the colors could have been. The next one is style transfer, which is the transfer of the artistic style of one image to another. The third one here is really interesting. This network, when fed with an image, can automatically generate a caption for it. So for example, if we supply this image to the network, it will generate the caption as two blue birds on the branch of a tree. How cool is that? 